In this video, you're going to learn how to quickly create flowcharts and diagrams using ChatGBT. So this that you're looking at right now is a flowchart that I made in just 30 seconds using ChatGBT. And I'm going to show you the two different ways and the two different use cases for this. And I'm going to break them down easily for you. So if you are a free user of ChatGBT, meaning you have ChatGBT 3.5 and do not pay for ChatGBT Premium, then you're going to have to use ChatGBT 3.5 and draw.io to be able to output mermaid code and quickly convert it in draw.io and be able to edit it and format it as you please. But if you are a ChatGPT4 user and you have access to the GPT marketplace, then there's an even better way to do this. I'm gonna break that all down in this video. But to get started, I just wanna quickly show you how to do this with ChatGPT 3.5. So here's a prompt that I've already written. Um, I like to specialize the GPT before building. So I said, you are an expert flowchart and diagram builder. I need you to build me a flowchart diagram outputted in Mermaid, which is the code that is going to be processed by draw.io that will follow the flow and plan of my YouTube video. Please review the breakdown below and output the Mermaid code to build a diagram for this flow. And here I've just attached the flow chart of this video so ChatGPT can compress this and create it so we're just going to send this off um, and it's going to what it's going to do is it's going to it's going to analyze this and output it in mermaid code which is just a simple syntax for draw.io to be able to process so now that we've copied this um, let's head over to draw.io when draw.io is a free software that you can use to create diagrams and when you go to draw.io you're going to get this site and you can choose where you want your diagrams to be saved to we're going to decide this later when you're in the interface you can name your project up here um, it's kind of similar to a google docs in or a word products where you can edit everything as you please but what we're going to focus on right now is actually converting that mermaid code that we got so we have something to work on in our project here so you're going to go up to this plus you're going to go to advanced and you're going to go to mermaid click on this copy this and paste in the mermaid code that we got from ChatGPT 3.5 and insert it so this is the diagram that I got from JatGBD 3.5. Um, it's pretty good, not as good as the way that I'm about to show you with Whimsical Diagrams GPT, but you can see here, hey, this is a pretty good start. I didn't have to start from scratch, and you can edit everything as you please inside of Draw.io. But if you are a GPT subscriber, you can explore custom GPTs and there's a really powerful custom GPT made by Whimsical Diagram. And what you wanna do with this is you can either look it up in the search bar, right now it's featured, but I'm guessing that it won't always be featured. So you're gonna to have to search it up in the search bar. Um, Whimsical Diagrams, found it right here. We're gonna go into this and you can see it's very well rated. It has a lot of five stars, over 200,000 conversations and it has a four star rating. So we're gonna start a chat with this and we are going to input the same prompt that we got. Let me try this again. Um, we're gonna input the same prompt that we inputted over here and see what we get. So in Whimsical Diagram, it's much better because it's built on the framework of GPT-4 rather than GPT-3.5 and it's integrated with Whimsical.com, which is a specialized um, program for actually generating flowcharts. So as you can see here, I am giving whimsical diagram this process and it's starting in action and what this does is it, is it integrates with some programs over at whimsical.com and it's able to create this diagram that we're going to be able to then edit over on whimsical so you can see this is the diagram that i just created and i like to look at this and see that hey, GPT-4 is a lot better than ChatGPT 3.5 because this flow chart that I gave it was very simple. Hey, I've got an introduction, GPT 3.5 tutorial, Draw.io tutorial, ChatGPT 4 tutorial, Whimsical Diagram tutorial. And you can just correlate this to whatever project you're working on, but this is exactly what I was looking for. GPT 4 has a better understanding, and especially the Whimsical Diagrams GPT, which will be in the description below. There'll be a link to it if you want to uh, interact with it. But it just has a better understanding of what you're actually looking for. And this specialized GPT is programmed very well. So once we get this diagram, we can actually go and edit it 
over on whimsical.com. And the user face over here is much better than Draw.io, in my opinion. I think this is the best way to do it. So if you have GBT4 subscription, you should be using Whimsical GPT diagrams to be able to create these diagrams, not uh, GBT 3.5 because it's not as good. Because this gives us everything we need and we can edit everything in here accordingly. You can see there's all types of, we can change the shape, um, we can change it to be transparent, we can change the actual text inside. It's just a great way to get jump started on whatever project you're working on. So that being said, I hope this was helpful and I hope that you start using GPT-4 because as you can see, it is much better than ChatGPT 3.5. But if you haven't dropped the 20 bucks per month yet, um, you can still use this approach. But as you can see, it's just, you can compare them. I mean, Draw.io is not as good as Whimsical. Case closed. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.